Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a software engineer here at Isvalent, and I'm focused on our observability products and integrations. In our core product, Cilium, or its enterprise version, Isvalent Enterprise for Cilium, we use eVPF for networking. This also lets us provide very detailed visibility into network traffic happening in a Kubernetes cluster. We are also partnering with Grafana Labs to provide the best observability experience for our users. So today I will demo some of our observability solutions. That is the Grafana dashboards we have for network visibility and troubleshooting. Our core product for network observability is called Hubble. Hubble is a visibility layer for Cilium. It exposes data, the networking data processed by Cilium in two main formats. The first one is raw network flows. I will show them a bit later. And the second one is Prometheus metrics. These are standard Prometheus metrics that can be stored in any Prometheus storage, either self-hosted or for example, Grafana Cloud or any Prometheus instance really. And these metrics can be easily visualized in Grafana and used in alerts, for example. We have a few Grafana dashboards built using Hubble metrics. The first one I wanted to show is this network overview dashboard. It's designed to diagnose and troubleshoot the most common problems on the network layer. Here at the top, we have an overview of all network flows processed by Cilium. They are grouped by type, by verdict, and we see the most noisy sources and destination. If we scroll down, here we have some panels uh, designed to diagnose the most common problems on the network layer. So one of the extremely common problems is that we have TCP SYN packets without corresponding TCP SYNAC packets. This usually indicates connection timeout. And here we have a graph showing exactly th those. Uh, these lines here are shown per Kubernetes workload. So we see exactly which Kubernetes workload uh, is um, sends these TCP packets that don't get respond. Another extremely common problem in Kubernetes clusters is network policy drops. So here we see the count, total count of network policy drops uh, happening, again, grouped by Kubernetes workload and reason. So we see that these drops are happening regularly, but only for one workload because policy denies these packets. That might mean uh, malicious traffic. It might be an attacker in a cluster, but it also might be simple misconfiguration either on, on some Kubernetes resources. Kabul is Kubernetes aware. Um, it, this is what makes it so powerful. It is what makes it so much more useful than traditional network visibility tools. So, Hubble metrics have all this Kubernetes metadata, for example, Kubernetes namespace. This dashboard can be and is actually filtered by namespace. I, I have one selected here. Uh, and for example, Kubernetes workload name, pod name, etc. These are all configurable, so you can configure the granularity you need uh, for these dashboards. They can show graphs per pod or per workload. Here, uh, these graphs are shown per Kubernetes workload. So for example, a deployment uh, or demon set or whatever. Now, Hubble, Hubble gives visibility not only into layer four, but also layer seven traffic. And here we have one of our layer seven dashboards, uh, DNS overview. We see a uh, overview of DNS queries and responses. Queries grouped by source. Again, these are Kubernetes workloads top DNS queries uh, that are seen. Missing DNS responses. This is same pattern that we saw for TCP. Here we count TCP, uh, sorry, DNS queries without corresponding responses per Kubernetes workload. So we see there was only a single one. And DNS errors, again, group by workload and by reason. Uh, this Kubernetes metadata, like namespace uh, or application label, this is also one, one of the options, are very often uh, team boundaries in organizations. Like one team owns typically one namespace or one application. So these dashboards can be used very efficiently to triage issues we see. Uh, if we see a DNS 
problem, then we can quickly check if it's problem only with one application or if it's cluster-wide problem. And typically, if it's problem with one application, then developers teams responsible for that application would handle it. If it's cluster-wide problem, then likely there is a dedicated network or SRE team that would handle it. So that allows us to very quickly triage such, such issues. Another layer seven dashboards we have is this HTTP golden signal dashboard. It shows the HTTP golden signals per Kubernetes workload. So here I have one workload selected and we see total count of HTTP requests per response code, uh, success rate, so non 500 responses, HTTP request duration, uh, here are a few percentiles, so we see P50, P95, P99, and CPU usage that can be correlated with, for example, duration or errors rate. Now, here I, see we have these dots that are popping over here. These are exemplars. Exemplars are additional information attached to metrics. Usually, and in this case, it is trace ID. So if applications are instrumented with the trace context propagation, then Hubble will read trace ID from HTTP headers and include it in Hubble metrics as exemplars. If these traces are stored in tempo, then Grafana will give us here a link to this trace stored in tempo, so we can click it. And here we have the we see the whole distributed trace. Um, start in tempo so it's the whole path of one user request with uh, through my multiple microservices uh, we see latencies for each of the hops we see some additional metadata attached with all of these requests this is very very useful to um, troubleshoot for example spikes in request duration or in error so see here we see a spike in request duration and uh, we can click on exemplar to check exactly how this user request look like and maybe that will help us understand why it took longer why requests are, were taking longer than usual this all happens um, without really installing any extra components so all these couple metrics are provided by hubble which is uh, they can be enabled in Cilium agent uh, just with configuration, it doesn't. Uh, they don't require any any additional components installed in the cluster. Something we released um, very recently is this um, Hubble data source plugin for Grafana. It's a data source plugin that integrates with both Hubble Metrics and our enterprise observability platform called Hubble Timescape. You can use it uh, to build your own dashboards and can be installed very easily, um, just a few clicks in any Grafana instance. But also together with the plugin, uh, we provide some dashboards that can be imported from, from the plugin configuration with just one click. So the first one I wanted to show is this uh, HTTP connectivity dashboard. It visualizes HTTP traffic in the cluster in the form of this service map. Here we can see very quickly which services are communicating with each other. And we can also see some core statistics about them. So let's zoom in a bit. We see a request per second and uh, average duration of, of the request. It's interactive. We can click on, um, we can hover over notes. Uh, here we also have um, some links to, to detailed requests for, for the statistics. If we scroll down, then here we see something similar to uh, what we saw with the golden signals dashboard so these are so-called red metrics request errors duration um for this for for all http requests um in the selected namespace and again here we also see exemplars that uh, we can click on to uh, get more details another dashboard we have is the this Hubble flows by protocol dashboard. It queries our enterprise observability platform we call Hubble Timescape. 
So Hubble Timescape is a platform for storing and querying raw network flows. It's installed in a Kubernetes cluster. Once you install it, then it will start ingesting Hubble flows and expose um, query engine for querying raw network flows with arbitrary details. Details that are not present in, in the aggregated Hubble metrics. So here we see example flows. Flows are these very wide events. Um, we see all kinds of details here. Uh, we see Kubernetes metadata, as we saw in the metrics, but also some metadata that are not present with in the metrics, like for example, uh, for HTTP flows here, um, AP and port. This dashboard shows um, net sample uh, flows for the selected namespace and workload um, queried from Hubble Timescape, and they are grouped by protocol. Uh, Hubble supports both layer seven and layer four protocols, or all of the popular ones. So here we see HTTP, DNS, TCP flows, UDP flows, with all possible details that we might uh, also filter on uh, on the client side if if we need to, if uh, Hubble metrics are not enough level of granularity for us. And the last thing I wanted to show is Hubble UI. We have a separate Hubble UI that can be used as a standalone product, but also can be integrated with Grafana. So here we see the home uh, homepage of the Hubble UI, and it shows the overall cluster health. Here we see the overall cluster health dashboard embedded from Grafana. If we click on this dropdown, then we can select other dashboards for to see, for example, uh, overall network health, Ethereum health, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Another view in Hubble UI is this flows view, and we see again another service map. So Hubble UI has its own service map. It's a little bit different than the one that we saw in the Hubble Grafana plugin. It also shows a connectivity between uh, all the services in the selected namespace. It's interactive, so we can click on the on one of the nodes, and then th uh, we see traffic filtered only uh, only for for this one service. If we zoom in, we can see here all Kubernetes metadata, including uh, all Kubernetes labels on this specific pod. So this is very useful uh, for SRE teams for application developers, uh, really for anybody who operates um, on Kubernetes resources, uh, because in Kubernetes world we don't really use, uh, we don't really operate on IPs or other cryptic identities. So we use labels and Kubernetes metadata to identify uh, our applications. So having uh, this attached here is very very useful. Below the service map, we can see flows, again, raw network flows, these very wide events that uh, here we see they are changing all the time because they are streamed live. So this is live traffic uh, happening at the moment. But here we have also a toggle that to show historical view. So now we see historical flows queried from, uh, from Hubble Timescape. And here is another tab, metrics. It again embeds a Grafana dashboard to show flows in the aggregated form. So not in the form of this log table, but uh, Grafana panels uh, showing an overview of the traffic happening in the namespace. Okay, this is all I had to show today. I hope this was helpful. Give it a try and I hope that you that Hubble will allow you to troubleshoot your networking issues in Kubernetes easier and faster. Thank you very much for listening. Mm -hmm.